What a morning it's been and what a result. And of course, the evening before was also creating headlines. It has moved towards a cashless economy, as it's being called. And of course, uh, the Prime Minister has moved to remove 500 and 1,000 rupees existing notes uh, from the economy is being called a game changer. Well, a whole host of views coming in. Everyone impacted, perhaps some little hiccups along the way, but the larger picture, and this is something on which we seem to have political, by and large, political consensus as well. It is a step in the right direction to try and suck out all the black money that has been a problem for India for the last uh, several, several years. Well, joining me now, uh, a very special guest, the founder of uh, uh, one of India's leading e-commerce companies, Kunal Behel of Snapdeal. Kunal, thanks so much for speaking to us. I know we've had to keep you waiting, but there was uh, the, the Trump result, the American result. What do you make of uh, the Donald Trump presidency there? Well, in his own words, it's it's quite huge. Right. Um, I think uh, it's it's obviously something that people didn't completely not expect mm. in the lead up to uh, today, just because the election was very very uh, the the at least the polls were saying the election was going to be very very close. Mm. And in the past, in most U.S. elections, even when things have been that close in the lead up to the actual day, oftentimes one. Either of the two candidates emerges a winner, and you can't really bank on who's going to win. Right. But I think overall, I feel it's. Uh, I was listening to his speech, and it was a very different Donald Trump. And I think he's. I always felt that once he's elected, he'll be far more reasonable than all the rhetoric in the election campaigning was uh, suggesting. Right. And uh, this uh, speech was probably in the right direction. Right, that Lezis is going to say that that speech, of course, an indication perhaps of uh, things to come. Well, you know, now you've said that when we talk about uh, the Prime Minister's move yesterday, the government's move, you've said the amount of money going through digital pipes will now see massive growth. Now, what is the immediate impact that you've seen of this move or one that you anticipate for your company in particular? Yeah, so we, we run a very large digital payments business, Free Charge, which is growing very rapidly. Anyways, overnight, we saw a 10x increase in the average balance that consumers keep in the free charge wallet. And this was largely driven by the fact that consumers were paranoid that as these 1,500 rupee notes um, become invalid, how would they pay? And, and so in the very near term, we've, we've obviously seen a spike, but this is just for today. In general, though, I feel going forward, we will see a very secular trend towards more digitization around payments. It's the right thing for the merchants because cash handling is expensive. It's the right thing for the consumers because pay paying digitally uh, is far more frictionless. And right. it's the right thing for the economy because it incentivizes every, most of the people coming into the formal economy. Right. Now, you, you mentioned a free charge there. That deal came through last year. You must be really glad that you had it all sealed and locked and sealed, signed, delivered well in time. Yeah, I think a lot of people asked me the question 18 months ago, right. uh, why? why are you doing it? Why, why not just be doing uh, commerce? And my view always was commerce becomes stronger with payments and payments become stronger with commerce. And now, 18 months hence, um, we feel really happy that we took a bold bet. We paid $350 million for free charge. Uh, I can tell you we are, uh, uh, this is going to be a home run for us. Right, and that seems to have been the, 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 uh, as how things have unfolded. But there's also, uh, as far as cash on delivery is concerned, Kunal, there seems to be some sort of, that, that seems to be the initial teething trouble that we've seen with e-commerce companies. There are some, like Amazon, who said we're putting it on hold. Others, like Flipkart, have said, you know, there are transactions above 2,000 rupees and we're not taking cash on delivery. Now, uh, I would imagine that these things will get ironed out, but uh, how do you see this space uh, spanning out? Because there are, of course, it varies from platform to platform, anywhere between 80 to 0.5 percent cash on de deliveries, depending on the platform that you're looking at. Yeah, for us it's about 50 percent. But look, I, I always see things from a longer term perspective. In the long term, paying digitally is right for us, is right for the consumer, right for the logistics companies that are servicing the consumer. 
because handling cash is expensive, there is pilferage, there is always inconvenience the consumer has to face because they have to wait for the delivery person to come, they have to be ready with the cash each time. Um, so we feel overall, while in the near term, we may see some teething issues, needless to say, but we will solve those. And in the long run, for the economics of this business, I think this is absolutely the right thing for us. Right now, you know, Bob, some would argue that there are still lacks of Indians who are still not digital. They haven't thought about, uh, you know, all these options that now will become very necessary. How would you sort of respond to that? Um, I think it's the right path for our country anyways. I think India will leapfrog the credit cards and the debit cards in my view. If you think about it, the Prime Minister's decision about uh, the Jandan Yojana was was quite pertinent in light of what we have done yesterday uh, as a country because suddenly there are so many people with bank accounts we have a billion people who have Aadhaar getting a bank account is not as hard as it used to be five years ago right. and the incentive of getting a bank account or there is no disincentive of getting a bank account sure. either sure. so I do feel that sometimes when you have to create a structural shift in the economy mm. you have to take a hard call it will create some tearing and some friction, but in the long run, it's the right thing for the country. Right. No gain without pain. Kunal Bell, thanks so much uh, for your time and sorry uh, to have you waiting there for a while. Thanks very much for speaking to us. Sure well, that's, of course...